This is our very first bike that we came out with. We sold okay. five units. It was absolute crash and burn. <laughs> kids at heart, so you know. Gotta... <laughs> How about yeah. a bike that flies? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm working on it. Give me some time. Uh, all right. <laughs> Our conference room doubles as a ping pong table. A lot of, of heated arguments, debates handled in this room <laughs> with a ping pong contest. So. so you guys have fun here too. Yeah, crazy, <laughs> right? It literally says Cadillac. <laughs> Oh, I just happened to be driving through Phoenix uh, today, and look where I stopped. Well, just happened to stop by Electric Headquarters yep. here in Phoenix yep. and get to see Christian again. Hey, guys. Yeah, well, this is the first time I've been here, and this is fairly new yes, place as for of you like guys. June of 2021 is when we moved in. Okay, okay. Yeah, very cool. So what do you got to show me in here? Yeah, so this is the showroom. Um, this is where customers come in and they can test ride bikes, purchase bikes. Um, there, We also do customer pickups. And then also if customers need uh, maintenance on their bikes done, they can bring them in here. Um, and we have technicians in the back that are able to kind of work on the bikes and tune them up and all that stuff. The face of electric. Dude. So come and see Alex here. Yeah, deal with me if you come through the door. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Yeah, and behind Alex here is kind of like, a, in a way, like a Hall of Fame, Wall of Fame, where we, it shows this is our very first bike that we came out with. We sold okay. five units. It was absolute crash and burn. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we got a lot of good feedback. From Hopefully people. not literal crash and burn. No, huh? no, 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 not literal. But, um, and then if you move on over here, it's, it shows our XP model, which a lot of people are very familiar with. That's our 1.0. Okay. Uh, and we sold about 35,000 models of that. Wow, quite an improvement over the first model, huh? Yeah, definitely. And then it kind of moves over to 2020 um, when we came out with the step through model, which was great because a lot of customers wanted a lower frame um, so they can get on and off the bike. And we sold about 24,000 models of that. Um, and then not too long after we came out with that, um, this 2.0 came out and that came out in both the XP and the step through model. So that number is continuing to rise. So okay. I don't even know what the count is at this point, but it's, it's wow. Gotta it's got to be up there with a lot. Okay. It's like you got no more wall for no for any more bikes. So. Yeah, well, I don't know what their plan is with that. So maybe, maybe it's somewhere else over here. Yeah, so customers can come in and they can buy scratch and dent models, um, new models. Like, for example, these right here are 1.0 models. So the frame is the, the old um, standard um, suspension or non-suspension, I should say. Um, front fork, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay. Um, so yeah, and then that one has the suspension um, and that one looks like it's a customer pickup for after getting some maintenance done. So yeah, okay. great options for coming to our store. This looks like a nice one. Yeah, so this is our, our Cadillac bike. It has every accessory that we offer. So just starting in the front, we have our upgraded headlight. Um, for our brighter lights. We have your front rack and front basket. Uh, mirrors for the handlebars, phone mounts. Um, we got our lock in the back here. Um, oh yeah, those locks are so cool. And then you got the comfort package with the suspension seat post, giant seat, and then the rear rack. This bag is not included, but just to give you some perspective there. Right. Is, is that being used by a lot of uh, people delivering like pizza or something? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are using it for like that DoorDash, Uber Eats, all that stuff. Um, we're hoping at some point to have a bag that they can purchase through us that, you know, so that we can be that kind of one-stop shop okay. um, for them. But yeah, so a lot of people have been using the 2.0s for community and different delivery services. It's, it literally says Cadillac. <laughs> well, this is the real brains of the operation in here, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is our customer service team right here. 
Um, so whenever you call, um, email, you're you're talking to someone here in our Phoenix office. So it's okay. very well one of these. You, you don't outsource people. your calls anywhere? Nope, nope. It's okay. all based in Phoenix. Um, we have a much bigger team. We do have option of working from home right now. Okay. Um, just with the, the COVID and, and all that protocols and stuff like that. So okay. these are the few that are brave enough to make it out to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it looks like you have room for even more people yeah, here. Yeah, we have quite a bit of room uh, left to, to kind of add more people. We hope to keep building our team. We're up to around, I think, 75 employees uh, in total. Um, wow. And a large part of it is the customer service team. Funny is our conference room doubles as a ping pong table. So <laughs> we have a lot of, of heated arguments, debates handled in this room. <laughs> with a ping pong contest, so. So you guys have fun here too. Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> Over here is our marketing section. Our team is pretty small. It's about seven people right now. Okay. Um, so it'll be like people like me who handle the YouTube influencers. Then we have our graphic designer, our video team, and then also like our social media uh, people as well that you know, answering comments and stuff like that. Like they're all in-house here, so. Okay. It's very small right now, but we're hoping to expand this out a lot. Hi there, how are you guys? Good, how are you? Holding down the Facebooks and Instagram comments? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <Exactly. laughs> Fun, I bet you stay busy. Yes, definitely. How, how many comments a day would you guess that you answer? Uh, a few hundred, at least. Uh, sometimes, like, sometimes like a thousand, to be completely honest. It depends on what kind of time we're at in the year, but yeah. When there's a big sale? Yeah. <laughs> if we're launching something or, you know, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> well, keep up the great job. Thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you. <laughs> and then uh, Levi's over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll run, run, run with him for a little bit. Hey, how you doing, man? Hi there. Hey, Levi. I haven't had a chance to meet you, Tom. Yeah, Tom. Right on. Yeah. yeah glad uh, this uh, yeah. worked out. You were already on. Right. Here, it like. I connected with you yeah. originally. Many moons yeah. ago. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> how long ago was that? So, super cool. Now, were you also were you from Minnesota yeah. and then moved down here? See, I did the opposite. I'm from here and moved to Minnesota. You're a madman. <laughs> right. I, mad I, I'm the insane one. Yeah. But actually, I corrected that by buying an RV and staying out sure. of Minnesota this time of year. Yeah. So. No, that's the way to do it for sure. Yeah. I, uh, you know, back in college, I was just waiting for my hands to thaw so I could start <laughs> taking notes in college, and I was like, why am I here? Like, right. I, I'm gonna go to the most extreme opposite. I know. Arizona, it's so. like my mom dragged me up to Minnesota when I was like 16. Yeah. You know, pulled me out of Mesa High School for my senior year and then oh. go up there to a small town. But anyway. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> so, Very well, cool. you guys are just killing it yeah, with this. Yeah. It's incredible. My goodness. No, I mean, I'm, what is the growth like? I mean, year to year. I think last year was about 200% growth. Um, okay. And this year, the full expectation is to throw another 100% on it for sure. Um, so it's wow. just really face melting type of growth. <laughs> um, you know, our staff, January last year, we had maybe 15 or 16 of us. Now we're about 75 people strong. Um, last, That's awesome. You know, last year we only probably had a total of 30 to 40,000 bikes total in circulation. Now we're at about 125,000 bikes in circulation. So really, you know, kind of that true snowball effect is coming into fruition where every time we ship more bikes, we have more salespeople working for electric and like being advocates for the brand. So, you know, that's really cool. But you know, yeah, it's just been a really wild journey that is just moving so fast that it's hard to sometimes even appreciate what's what's happening here. But we're just trying to have as much fun as possible. Like like stop to take a breath. No, or yeah, or that, something. You, you don't breathe here. No, <laughs> I, I know what you mean, and it's been so awesome to be a part of this team. You know, when in the growth phase, yeah, no, like that. No, it's really incredible the impact of you know, you know, you guys and just influencers of all sorts where um, we you know this like when we first started working like we didn't have a marketing budget right, right. we didn't have that 
money to play around with. So all we had was a cool bike and the hope that by getting people to look at it, maybe they would want to share their like experience and everything and like right. kind of create that fanatical uh, advocacy and like, Thank God it worked, you know? <laughs> uh, we're, we're super thankful, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely going fast. And, you know, I think looking at this year, we have some pretty extreme and full, you know, aspirations in terms of continuing to build out the team um, and just really polish electric from end to end. We were always known as the company that didn't have inventory, right? And we finally solved that. So now we have inventory, but now we need to get better at, you know, a more immediate fulfillment or pick and pack so accessories can come with their bikes and all that stuff so there's no shortage of opportunities for us to continue to improve on and uh, that's what we're zeroed in on so yeah okay very cool and I have a personal request from uh, Sheree's mom we're looking for a three-wheeler hey is that we, like <laughs> the amount of requests we have for it it's it's in the the thing is if we're if we're gonna do one it's gonna be in the DNA of electric and uh, that's all I can say about it um, but it is definitely something we have heard from customers and it is a you know, it's what electric does. We listen to our customers and then we try to design awesome bikes for it. So that's that's all. Yeah, I didn't mean to put you on the spot with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could sit here and request anything. How about yeah. a bike that flies? <laughs> yeah. hey, I'm working so, on it. Okay. Give me some time. Uh, all right. That's like 20 years down the line but yeah. at some point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that's kind of funny. <laughs> Your kids at heart, so you know. <laughs> Yeah, this is our kitchen area. Obviously, oh, we have people eating lunch right here. Very cool. Then, uh, but what's super sweet is this right here. Um, so. It's a special design that our graphic designer made, and so it's have little foods on our bikes. <laughs> so you see a croissant on the XP, <laughs> the hamburger on the step through, strawberry on the step through. So ah, very design. creative. That yeah. is cool. This is a, a one of one, so you will not see this anywhere else but here. Okay. Yeah, super sweet. yeah, wow. That's awesome. Over there. <laughs> we also have the game room, which is where we have a couple of Xboxes. Um, Levi and Rob, funny enough, met playing Halo um, in middle school. Okay. Online. <laughs> so they wanted to make this room kind of like a representation of their middle school bedroom. <laughs> okay. With all their favorite, like, movies, sports team, music, shows, video games, all on this wall. And we're going to work on kind of filling out more of the empty spaces. But, yeah, this is a, you know, kind of a room where our customer service team, anyone can come in here on their break and, you know, play a little video games like some people were playing like FIFA or you know uh, playing Call of Duty or like I don't know some some video game that they're liking at the moment well no wonder you had a line of people wanting jobs here <laughs> right <laughs> you know you got a game room here a uh, great place to work out any stress at oh, all yeah. so yeah very cool yeah that's awesome yeah and we're a very competitive office so We've even done like uh, tournaments, so like we were playing NBA 2K tournaments, and um, it's actually still going. But we're hoping <laughs> to have um, a champion of that here pretty soon. So it's it's a lot of fun. So little little stuff like that helps gets a th get us through the day, um, and just makes the kind of work environment more fun. Right here is our our trail that customers will take the bikes out the door, and they'll come down this trail. Um, and it'll go into the neighborhood where they can go on a more extended ride. Um, way back when we first moved in, we were just doing rides in the parking lot. Uh, so this kind of gets a feel of like the type of road they can go on, gravel and then into the street, and it's just a bigger area to where they can go as fast as they want. That is so cool. Uh, wow, you guys are really like, what an awesome, Spot for customers to come to, right. but also awesome place to work. Yeah. Uh, thanks again, Christian, for yeah. uh, you know letting me stop by here on my quick race through Arizona. <laughs> so great to see what you guys are doing. Yeah.
yeah. uh, excited for the future. Yeah, me too. And you're so, always welcome here. So okay. if you're in Arizona, stop by. Well, thank you. Stop.